All right, I'm gonna try and do this uh, freehand without a stand here, just for a minute. I've, I've, uh, I'm really only very early into the gameplay here and already seeing some very interesting, what's the right way to put this, sort of uh, dichotomies or, or tensions uh, being set up in this game. This game is called Freedom. All right, uh, it's about to go up on uh, Kickstarter at some point. But uh, he, here's what goes on. You've got one side of the board is dealing with the siege and these layers of movement that the Ottoman Empire's forces have to advance through to get to the walls and then attack the walls. Ideally, you capture one of those black... where, where the black cubes are, are um, cannons. <clears throat> you capture one of those and hold it at the end of the turn, at the end of the phase or the end of the cycle of turns. That's probably the appropriate way to say it, this, uh, this, uh, this cycle of set of cards here. And uh, you win. And there's some other things that go on with uh, ocean movement and lagoons and uh, coming in from flanks and things like that. But we haven't got that far yet. We've only played a handful of cards. And already my, my first impression you know, was, uh, you know, it's kind of like uh, Hannibal Rome versus Carthage. And it's, it's nice. It's cute. And it's obscure. So that's great. But actually... As you start playing, there are some very interesting interleaved uh, actions that go on here as you're trying to achieve your objectives. You've also got these support areas over here that require you to, uh, if you wish to receive your three bread, you know, supplies, and a cannon each turn and uh, replacements as the imperialists and more food, or if you're the insurgent slash Greek forces you want to get a reinforcement you've got to keep control of these support areas as well and the only way that you can influence what goes on there is by not doing anything over here so the classic card event versus action point dichotomy and what we had go down here was uh, you have this kind of uh, trumping mechanism basically where as the as the greek i played a three action point card but it had this really cool little uh, deal here where I can move for my units yada 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 and so if I want if I want to make this happen I have to discard a card so I discard a you know relatively weak card and I, I do that that allows me to do this I get to advance see the units that are kind of uh, oriented differently from everybody else these guys here they all got to move forward well, so not to be outdone, next turn, next card played, the, uh, the, the Greeks go, you know what? You guys now need to reduce one of uh, your money to the empire and remove an imperial unit from any space. I kind of like that card as well. Uh, so that got, that, that got played. Then uh, the, the uh, imperials, they said, hmm, well, let's open up a new flank. So they said, let's, uh, let's build the Unity Mound, which was, uh, happened historically. Uh, it was an artificial hill built. Uh, we're building, probably building it in the wrong place, but it doesn't matter, right? Uh, we, we get to move an Imperial unit and a cannon from, from our camp, and we get to uh, put it where we want. It's got to be a certain number of uh, levels away. Uh, that's row five, I think. I've got it in the right spot. So we're going to put that there. It's going to allow me to open up a new flank on the, the right-hand side or, le or the Greeks' left, left side. Pretty nice, huh? So just in a handful of card plays, while nothing in particular has really changed on the board other than... Uh, some, you know, eking away of capability here. The, you, you've seen just very quickly how dynamic the to and fro, the, uh, the ebb and flow of the game is. And uh, it's pretty interesting. I, I will say that I, I would like to see some adjustments made to... So this, this is uh, pre-production artwork and all that sort of good stuff. But I think that certainly over here, we could certainly use 
more clarity in uh, the uh, tones and the artwork and uh, some, some definitional things going on on the board would be nice. Uh, it's, it gets a little muddy at some points. But other than that, uh, and the rules are very clear. Uh, these, it took me a little while to work out these support areas because the, the, number, on, the number five there uh, tells, you, tells you how many of these support chits go on here. There's only four there because there have been some reduced. Um, that gives you a, a hint <laughs> uh, in terms of setup, but unless the 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 artwork is much clearer in the rule book, you're going to need some very specific call outs to let people know how to set those support areas up and help them understand exactly how they work because they're, it, it, it's not 100% clear. But other than that, I'm having a lot of fun and uh, very interesting game. I can't wait to see the Kickstarter come out and see what uh, the stretch goals are for freedom from phalanx or phalanx, depending on what side of the pond you are from. And we will uh, leave it at that. Talk to you guys soon. All the very best.